Tyler gets to cater. <laughs> bro, he was yawning and I touched it. Like, he f***ing catered my mouth, bro. <laughs> Let's fill you in before we get to the live action of this muck and mad video. What we've got behind us, specced in this badass sim rig. We've got the OMP TRS seat. It's sick, jump in it, it handles you for everything you need to do. We've got the badass steering wheel with a whole lot of buttons and bling. She's direct drive, big bad boy force feedback. Gives you a whole lot of arm pump when you're on the twist, when you're on the motion of racing around that track. Comes with the keyboard. So you can type to Nana, tell her to wait, leave the roast in the warmer because we're racing the sim rig. We've got the big curved monitor, and then we've got obviously the PC in the back to run it. Full extrusion rig all put together with a sound bar to give you the direct noise of the six rotor on the limit. She's got three pedals down below, so if you are only an automatic driver, then welcome to the world of a clutch. She is the manual. Every five buck is spent in the shop on a sticker as little as ten dollars is two entries or on a beanie we got beanies we got stickers muck a year muck a mucker we got hoodies muck a year hoodie oh you are throwing hard bro we got t-shirts all this stuff you can buy in the muck mad shop <laughs> go hard go home get on it because try your luck this bad boy rig could be yours and you could be racing me or B party in this rig when we jump in ours Righto, that's enough of him. Let's get to today's live action. <laughs> Here we are at the Mucker HQ getting ready for another weekend of racing. We've got the Super Saloon tonight in Wellington. Just sorting out some merch and bits and pieces to go into the uh, trailer. Bring you guys at the racetrack get your favourite Mucker swag. Uh, we've had a pretty big couple weekends on the road. Of course, we had the Six Rotor up Taupo for the Rotary Reunion. We also had the Chrome just been in Christchurch, which we could have the event in the south. Take the Six Rotor down there, take some trophies as well for our hard efforts. So. Just shooting out to the shed now to see old Benji and little Fred. He's giving them a hand out there. We're just prepping up the last of the Super Saloon, put the bodywork on, have a bit of a fire up. I was lining these trophies up yesterday for a bit of a story on the mucker, on the mucker Insta, and I mean, just look at it. Pretty bloody cool. Best competition car. And this one here, the People's Choice. I mean, that's epic. Because that sort of shows what we're doing, everything on YouTube and the stories. I know we're just about to hit 100,000 on Instagram, which is... An epic. So. Pretty cool to uh, have that one there and in the trophy cabinet. I know that one will be proudly great. displayed. Yeah, just credit to all this team, you know. We've got everyone on board. PPRE, HSP, we've got Lucas Alls, Haltech, AWS, Chemical Guys. Just everyone that makes this team click and uh, get us out on track. It's a huge effort by everyone. And just getting out there repping this thing. She's solid as. PPRE does a mean job, eh? Benji took away the NA roll winner in the south of Chrome. And I took the NA roll winner in the north, so we are fastest in the north and the south. Here he is. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. hey Fred. <laughs> Daddy going to feed the chickens. Yeah, okay, Bill. Done. The boys were around last night, had a bit of a shed night. New steering rack put in. Yeah, here we go. So, bit of a broken weld. I know Shane, Shane McIntyre, Hyper Mac Racing, he lent ours for a meeting so we could get back on track. I think we actually used it about three or four meetings, so shout out to Shane McIntyre, thank you very much. What are you up to bro, you found a book? Do you want to show everyone your sweet bike? Jump on! Oh yeah, don't worry about riding it, you just haul it by picking it up. Got the muck aim on there boy, you got stick it up! Front and rear brother, Hey. We're like brothers, Fred. Hey, look, Brendan's got his too. Hey, SP tools. Ready? Start it up then. Say go. <laughs> It's 
So we've got some of our uh, Lucas Oil SAE 50 Plus that we use in this Super Saloon. Hello brothers. So a wee bit low on oil. Bro, we might have had a low on oil, hopefully not. Mm. So we might have all of that oil that was pissing out the breather on the valve cover over on the left side there and then obviously we let a little bit out, but maybe we let too much out. Because it was quite dirty after Bay Park, wasn't it? We had uh, quite a little bit of oil coming out of here. We thought we'd sort of gotten better though, didn't we? It looked like it was improving compared to some other rounds, but... Thanks for vlogging for us bro. Pretty sure everyone would have loved what you just captured us. <laughs> Looking forward to getting to the track. Our sticker wall is <laughs> getting pretty loaded. We haven't really got much room left on here. Got a couple of little extras, the old VIP drift down south. Mad Mike as well getting in there, so we're pretty loaded up, eh? Might have to pull the tricky sandwich ones off. Yeah. Uh, it's me and three. Okay, what's the number? Uh, 8K Super Saloon. Awesome. Thank you. Nice night. See ya. Through the gates into Wellington Speedway. Haven't raced here in like two, three years. I think last time was probably in the Superstock, I think. Uh, last year in the Sprint Car. Oh, actually, we did do. Oh, so we have been yeah, here in a, a year, like a year ago, bro. Like in the Sprint Car. Oh, we're back, bro. In the Super Saloon, we just changed class. Yeah, we don't have the 450 today, eh? We've got the Wild Puss, the L50. Oh, bro, look how many fucking cars there are. Where are we going? Oh yeah, man, it's full on, eh? We got Mike. We got Brendan. Brendan's not too healthy right. though. Not too happy. He might have the uh, 19 disease. The bat flu. <laughs> We've got the little bro. And uh, what, you want to go around and get some content for us, brother? Sweet, bro. Hey! Vlogging. Do some more vlogging. Oh, I did some more vlogging. <laughs> I'm just giving my knee a massage. I'm old. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maka yeah. <laughs> Maka yeah. <laughs> when do you reckon when I'm gonna get a super slew? Uh, oh, probably when you're about 14. <laughs> yeah. That sound like a good idea. I'm gonna race one at night. No more cameras. No more cameras. But. Bye. How rude. I'm gonna get a late model after my super slow. I'm just here to be in the vlog like you, bro. <laughs> you gotta hold it up more, bro, so then I'm in the video. Yeah, there we go. But why are you here, bro? I'm filming you now. <laughs> you just come to be in the vlog. Yes. Yep. Who's I winning tonight? Um, Dad. Yeah, 5B, eh? 8K, boy. 5B and 6. And Benji can come third. <laughs> Minutes, but it's pretty cool. Give us a mucka yeah there. Mucka yeah! <laughs> mucka yeah! <laughs> so two P, Lady McQueen. Now we're heading back to Benji. Benji's. Right here. Milk in the car. Four P. Five B. This is, this is be That's our sponsor. <laughs> I think the racing is starting soon, and so I don't know. Hopefully, Benji wins. Hopefully, somebody wins the simulator. Oh, yeah. Hey, bro, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> Right. What's going on? Your biggest maka yeah. Maka yeah! Oh, that's perfect. Maka yeah. Are you the new camera guy? Yeah. Are you the new camera guy? <laughs> <laughs> I've got no job now. <laughs> yeah. 
I want to buy a big YouTube camera so I, so I can make my own YouTube channel. We put it on there. It took us so long and we saw, and I saw Cody, a Burger King for the display. B Party doesn't have his job now. I stole his job. <laughs> stole Benji's camera. <laughs> stole it. Are you still on that? You want to have a flat battery, bro? <laughs> yeah, boy. Shop for that, bro. Just been hit up to stick a wall of the trailer. What's your name, bro? Byron. Byron. Yeah. 49W. 49W what? Mini stock. Mini stock. Yeah, boys. Yeah, first season. Do you race? Yeah. You win? Uh, nah. Good one tonight, so. Straight for the win then, brother. Yeah. Straight for the win. Where are you going to chuck it on the wall, bro? There's not much actually spots left, yeah, eh? Yeah, isn't it? Nah, you're going to have to hang down low. Hey, he knows to give it this slap too. He's been watching the vlog. Thank you. Easy, brother. Get that win, eh? If yeah. you get the win, come back over and see oh, us, bro. Oh, oh, oh. you get a free market top. Oh, I just said, if you get the win, bro, free market top. So he might be chasing it a bit harder tonight now. All right, we're pretty much ready. We're all screwed in here. Gears checked. Wellington Speedway's putting the weather on. Got grid one for the first heat. Uh, we're going to chat to Ian Taylor, though. You've got a son that just travels around the world, doesn't listen to you, and then comes back and wins the South Island Champs. Yeah, I don't know how that happened. I watched it on my stream. Uh, are you proud of him? Yeah, he was good. How did he go at the New Zealand's and the uh, North Island, was it? Yeah. Put the wrong tyre on. Oh, yeah. A real hard one, and they relayed the track. Oh, and the right. track was had some grip, but once you got it on and you start, yeah, you so bug it. Maybe you should be crew chief again. Then. Oh, too old. <laughs> too old for crew chief. <laughs> All right, oh, that's Ian Taylor, the old boy, Stephen. Stephen's just won the South Island Champs in the sprint car. Yeah, we're going to go and check over a good mate of mine, Barky, John Wickens. He is just starting his racing career again. He was uh, in a stock car about, I don't know, five, ten odd years ago or so, and then now he's back in a saloon as the body's not the same as it used to be, eh, bro? So he's come back, come, come back for his first debut in the saloon. But now nah, she's looking good, man. He's got the... He's got the OG 53 dub font that he had on the stock car though. How you feeling? Oh, not too bad, man. Like, cheers. Bit nerve wracking this week, but yeah. we're here now. We're yeah. committed, so give it a go. It was my motor out of the original car that I had in Never Race. Yeah. Uh, so I had that all rebuilt by Super Stu. Uh, he built the motor originally and pretty much just put it all back in and makes all the bolts are tight. And, yeah. Yeah, good luck, mate. Uh, Serious cheers, note. Bro. Good Thank luck. You. Thanks very much. Go get some, go get some bloody podium. Off, I was bro. starting off one, bro, so I'm just going to go over beer. Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Bit of merch, eh? The boys are chucked up on the side of the trailer. So, brought a little bit of stuff out. See if there's any Wellingtonians that want to rip it hard. Let's go racing, boys! Let's go, Let's go boys! Go, boys. season probably I think he makes the tens page makes the eights so that's nasty bro <laughs>
head to green for uh, after the caution in race one. We're about to go green. Eckersley leads from Pitcher, Sneddon, and the two flints. opportunity there from pole in heat one three heat format tonight of course so every sort of pass matters you know you need those points so gonna have to get the 22 dub on set up i reckon and uh, get him a bit faster in the next one he is off grid seven in the next one and then off grid 12. Changing the J-bar on the chassis side. Yep. All it, what it does is it changes your side bite. So as you send it into the corner, but it, it's like the roll center of the yep. car. So putting more side bite in, it just obviously when he can send it in harder, gets more drive. Yeah, right. One of those, vice versa. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yep. But he wants more more side bite. We're giving him more side bite. Cool. That's the end of it. The... <laughs> that's that's all I'm Come saying, on, bro. <laughs> It's not the 22 dub set up, is it? It's not the 22 dub set up. It would have won if it was 22 dub set up. Let B-Party put a camera in there, eh? Oh, it's cool to see, get, obviously, give everyone a perception of what, how much the suspension does underneath one lot. of these cars, yeah. eh? Yeah. Travel's unbelievable, yeah. yeah. And then how much they sit down under, under obviously, de-acceleration, how much the whole back end of the car comes back down. <laughs> How's that? Right, brother. Good job, bro. Good job, bro. Good job, guys. <laughs> like that like a cicada. <laughs> bro, he was yawning and I touched it. I was like, he cicada my mouth, bro. bro. I was going in the boxing bag at the back, just bam, 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 bang. <laughs> <laughs> I went to bite down and I got a finger. Can you hear that? <laughs> Fuck yeah! yeah. <laughs> I did it wrong! Fuck yeah! Oh.
seventh and probably finish quite far out of the back, maybe tenth, um, almost last. So yeah, just struggling with the car setup tonight. She's just way too tight. So we got Dan on adjusting a few things. We're just going to drop this arm down and see if that can uh, stop the drive. You know, take a little bit of drive out of this left rear tyre. Yeah, so it's fucking awesome to be back and race only five minutes down the road. That's why we got back into the uh, this class, the Super Saloons. Well, not got back. That's why we got into it. So um, yeah, it's pretty cool and hopefully another one maybe in April in uh, three, four weeks time.
the natural on the man, like upset there. It's the only way. That's why you end up in the ref's box, bro. <laughs> no, it was good. The car felt better in that heat, but the track definitely was warming up to the car, if you know what I mean. Like it was only getting slicker and slicker and easier and easier for a tighter car in that last heat, you know? Over well. fender, nose cone, bonnet is fine, that will pop off. Jesus Christ. At least we can get the jack in there easy to pump it up, eh? Straight in, boy. Straight in, brother. <laughs> Overall night. Not too bad, not too bad. Good to race in Wellington. Haven't been in Wellington in like sort of four or five years. We did one meeting in that time, but sort of, you know, didn't really feel like we'd been here, so. Whee! Christ! I need to stop on the front, boys, but good to, we're just letting the jack down. We're still on the operations, so. But no, good to come back here. Um, first race, second race, we're just way too tight. It was super wet, slippery on the pole line. Um, with all the other cars, everyone was making mistakes. I was making mistakes, and just with a real tight car, it just got to push on way too much. It cost us quite a lot of um, positions, the advantage. Advantages, dis well, disadvantages were huge, so D Marker jumped on and got us a few setup changes. There were definitely significant improvements, and we had the last race was sort of the car was a lot more hauling, but still one lane type racing and real tight track, quite hard to get anywhere. So, started last, sort of finished, I don't know, maybe like a sixth or seventh or something like that. Got a bit of front end damage, um, you know, it's just quite a committing track, and then when others are sort of you're already committed in, it's yeah, you can get on the picks as much as you want, but collected him and um, so yeah another little nose cone repair wash her up probably bring her back out in three four weeks because we're at stag do and then the wedding and then after that we'll, we'll probably do six rotor six rotor and then maybe jump back in the super saloon around the 14th of april so but no overall good night i think the boys all enjoyed it we learned some more stuff another another track ticked off the list in this class heaps of mucker mad fans got the horns up we've got a few half thummies mucker muckers on and everyone was uh, get behind the merch yeah jump into the merch shop grab some freaking mucker and uh you can be in to win that six sim that's what we race during the week when we're not racing the real things on the weekend so thanks for watching like subscribe and uh tune into the next one fuck yeah <laughs> fuck yeah